Good morning, YouTube family. What's up with you this morning? Y'all having a good day? Well, you know where I live, it's still a little bit chilly, which I like because it's going to be hot as anything before you know it. So the longer some of the coolness can stay, the better for me. But uh, I do want to say, I uh, hope you are having a great day wherever you're at. Um, what are you doing on this uh, Saturday? Are uh, you doing something with the family? You got to go into work. What's up? What exciting things do you have planned for the weekend? That's what I want to know. Put it down there in the details if you, if you can. But uh, uh, we are going, this is going to be a pure uh, uh, event training session uh, for the competition. I got about five weeks out. So that means, uh, that means that really I only have four weeks left of training. Uh, the week before competition, um, I think uh, seven and six days out, I do kind of a light workout, but then five days up to the competition, I don't know anything. Uh, yeah, I may go for a walk with my dog or something like that, but uh, I really don't do anything. I let my uh, all the rips and tears and pains and everything kind of settle down and mellow out and any inflammation kind of go away. My usual would do a little bit more recovery, uh, maybe some cryotherapy, uh, massage, you know, something like that. Uh, but uh, that's usually what I do five five days out before the comp. Um, so today we're gonna do uh, event training, like I said, where I will actually, I'm not gonna worry about reps. Um, I'm gonna do four rounds of each event except the sandbag carry. Um, the reason being is I have my sandbags at my uh, work gym uh, so I didn't really want to cart them over uh, we did get some news though which I guess is okay um, I guess due to the sand or bags or something I don't know uh, when they were filling the sandbags up for the competition they have decided to uh, make some of the the sandbag weights less so uh, basically I think the heaviest weight is usually kind of like what I start off with. So the good thing about that is it should make for an, an, an easier uh, event. Not, so I think it's gonna focus more on time than it is weight. So, I mean, you're still carrying, I think the uh, I think the intro bag, there's three bags, and I think they're starting off at 130 pounds, second bag's 140, and um, the third bag is 155, I believe is what, I was told uh, so I've been starting off with 150 and then going up from there with my other two uh, bags so I think I'm gonna keep training that way um, just to make the weight easier and then it's just gonna be a matter of running with it for speed uh, for time for that event so very long-winded explanation sorry but anyway uh, <clears throat> but we will knock out uh, the other events today. So I'm going to work on four of them. Like I said, we're going to do uh, uh, four rounds. And uh, with that is, is it's most of them are for time. So I think I've got a minute to, uh, a minute to win it, uh, to go from there. So uh, I want to see what I can do in under a minute. And that'll be more uh, of a replicant of what the competition is going to be like instead of just going for, you know, a certain amount of reps and then stopping. So I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to drive, get there, and then we're going to get out of this. Oh, one other thing. The cool thing today, uh, what's a little bit different, is the gym that I go to. Um, this is actually their four-year anniversary today. So they're having all sorts of crap going on. So we might check that out and... And everything but hey you guys be awesome and let's get going okay guys we're gonna interrupt the, the workout for one brief second because uh, my friends at element uh, uh, they just want to share with you that you know what if you're in the gym and you're sitting there and you're feeling kind of blue and you can't get the last reps in and the sets are depleting and your muscles are like oh I need some hydration 
you know, water is great. I mean, I love water. I drink plenty of it during the day. But when you are in a high um, level of some sort of activity, whether it's walking, marathon running, working out, doing strongman, uh, you know, you, you, well, at least I sweat a lot. I don't know about you, but I sweat a lot. And when you do that, a lot of the, the minerals and stuff in your body, the magnesium, potassium, sodium, especially the sodium, it, it comes out of your pores. You know, whenever that happens, I got a big old 80 pound dog that loves to lick me right after a workout because she likes licking that salt out of my sweat as gross as that sounds, but hey, we need that back. If you wanna get the best freaking workout ever, you gotta get you some Element. This wonderful little package right here. This is the best, absolutely the best hydration supplement. I'm telling you, they put no bullshit into it. You have all those other aids out there, and I've said this before, you know, for what they are, they're good but they're not great because they're not going to replace those, those minerals that you've let, that you've let get out of your body by doing the activity that you're doing. But also they contain a bunch of other crap, sugar, for instance, very high in sugar. Um, I'll also put down in the details down here. I did a breakdown price comparison between I think Gatorade and element and dollar for dollar. This thing is better for you. It's cheaper for you. It's healthier for you. You're going to get more bang for your buck if you get you some of that. So my friends at Element, what they wanted to do is they provided me a link. Click on it. You buy a box of whatever flavor you think you might like. And with that, they will send you free, F-R-E-E, -E, free box of sample packets. So that way you get to try almost all their flavors and decide, hey, I didn't know about this one. I better try it. That way when you're at the gym, you're getting your grind on, you're getting your pump on, and you're getting one hell of a workout. So friends, go down there, click the link, buy your box, get the free sample box, and get set and changed for life. All right, back to the workout. All right, guys, we made it to the gym. So the first event is the uh, overhead press with the sandbag, and then as many reps as you can get in a minute with the, uh, the overhead axle. So the setup looks like this. So you start off lifting that one time, move over to the axle, and you go as many times as you can. So let's get it done.
Okay, two down, two to go. So we just completed the yoke and denny rings. Um, that last set of uh, the denny rings were uh, competition strength or weight. Um, so tell you what, whoo! The thing is, is I think you gotta get you can have unlimited drops, but you gotta get it within a minute. So just keep with it. If you drop it, you drop it. Pick it back up, keep moving. It's kind of like a lesson in life, right? All right, now on to uh, fat back farmer carries. Let's get to it. Okay, let me show you guys something. The only problem with the uh, slap collars, let me show you. Okay, so like I said, the only problem with the slap collars is they are great, they are fast, but as you're getting heavier, Especially with the farmer carry. I mean, me and two separate implements there and there. Is if you go at an angle, you'll see here. Well, where did it even go? It disappeared. They're magical. Might be under this one. Oh, yeah. So that thing, when I went at an angle, it, and the weight, it just, it just slid right off. Wow. All right, let's re, uh, get back up.
Okay. Workout done. Um, whew. I am tired. I don't know if it was because of lack of sleep. Uh, what killed me? Um, I don't know. Uh, the uh, overhead press wasn't where I wanted to be. You know, I just did 210 the other day and and a bit less today. So I don't know. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. So hopefully in the next four weeks, by the time the competition comes around in five weeks, um, I'll tune it in and and I'll be able to hit the numbers I need. So, but any day in the gym is awesome. Man, I'm 53 years old doing this crap. You have no excuse. Get your butt up and get your fit on. You hear me? Now, last time I did a little bit of uh, the 53 year old dad's words of wisdom. And uh, today, what that is, is uh, and it's a good example of what happened today. I was doing the yoke and, sorry if I'm yelling. Um, I was doing the yoke and the denny rings. And on the side gym, where all the kind of strongman stuff is, I uh, I pretty much almost maxed all the all the weights in the in the area. There was a few here and there, but uh, if anyone wanted to lift heavier than what was left, um, I had them all. So uh, the words of wisdom, gym etiquette of the day, is you know whenever I first started off, I think there was just one person in there, and and she wasn't doing anything super super heavy, so. Uh, but when you start getting more people in there, if, if you're not by yourself or if there's more than you know, you know, a few people, you know, always make sure, Hey, you know, I don't want to be hogging all the weights. Don't be a weight hogger. Um, do you guys need any of these? Because, you know, we need to, you know, it's, it's a, it's a environment of athletes and lifters and people who just want to get in better shape and get in better health. So we're all in this together. It doesn't matter what level of fitness you're at. So, you know, if, if you're hogging the weights, but there's more people in there, just make sure to say, hey, do you need these? You know, I got one set left. You can start peeling off. I mean, just let them know, you know, communicate. And, and, and you know, we'll all get along and we'll all live in a happy world. So uh, that's the, the wisdom of the day is just, you know, don't hog the weights. Um, the nice thing about this being the uh, fourth anniversary of the gym is they have a grill going on and they're doing uh, hot dogs and and hamburgers and I got myself a, a double decker uh, hot dog post uh, gym workout uh, nutrition and refuel. This is long enough, you guys. If you stuck this long in the video, I'm proud of you. Appreciate you um, sucking down my element. Um, if you've gone out and bought some, or if you're about to buy some, hey, let me know what your favorite flavor is. Uh, mine is the citrus lime. It tastes like a margarita, uh, but it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, you guys go out, be good to people, and at the end of the day, get your fit on.